Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. No ladies and gentlemen, I am not crazy. But I've always told you that whenever I do a video, I don't just do a video to publish because I'm trying to publish a video. I share with you the things that I'm doing to add to my preparedness plan. And this is one of those things, ladies and gentlemen, that just got to me. Almost every year, one or several of our vehicles lose a light bulb or a headlight or a turn signal or something somewhere and we have to make a trip to the store for that specific one bulb. This year, my wife's truck lost a bulb about a month ago, went and got that bulb, just lost another one in the front, one of the blinker bulbs, had to go get another bulb here that she went and got it the other day while she was in town. And now, a couple of days ago, my headlights and my turn signals on my plow lost their bulbs. So I have to replace two headlights on my plow and a turn signal. So I told myself, you know what, I'm just going to go get a set of every single bulb that the outside of a vehicle takes for every one of my vehicles, including my plow. So what you see here is a set of headlights, of high beams, of turn signals, of backup lights, of stop lights in the back and turn signals in the back for each of my vehicle to include an extra set for my plow after I put on the ones that I have to replace because both of them are gone. Don't know why, but they're both gone. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you why it is that I think it's important that we stock up on these things. This may look like a lot, and I'll tell you what, these things are not cheap. I even compared the prices to Amazon, and the prices on Amazon were about the same as they are here in town. So I'm glad that I picked them up in town because I was able to su support a local business in town. However, they're not cheap. But what I'm thinking is, I'm looking at the back of these, and these aren't made in the United States. And I think that if we continue to go the way that we've been going for the last year, year and a half, as far as shipping crises, as far as supply crunches, as far as maybe even having a conflict with a different nation, that these things that are made outside of our borders, when they start getting made inside of our borders again, they're going to be a lot more expensive than they are now. So that was one of the motivation factors that allowed me to come to the conclusion that I should get at least one extra set of bulbs for each of my vehicles. And that's what you see here. I have an extra of everything. It's something that I haven't thought of in the past, and it just came to me. I was like, why in the world am I making a trip into town or my wife making a trip into town every time that one bulb goes out? Go ahead and get everything that you're going to need to replace every bulb in each of your vehicles at least one time. I'm going to put these in a box. I'm going to take a little tub of uh, Vaseline and put it in there with it. That way, whenever I have to change a bulb, I don't have to go into town. I already have it. And if for some reason they do become highly expensive because we can no longer source them from overseas locations and they're being made here in the U.S. I know what you mean, ladies and gentlemen. I can already hear some of you saying, well, it'd be a lot better if they're made here in the U.S. I agree. I agree. But what happens if the transition from us to be able to import them from overseas to them being able to get built here in the U.S. or made in the U.S.? What if that is a long transition? That in itself is going to make the prices go up. And do you all remember, those of you that have a few years on you like I do, do you all remember that you can get a headlight bulb for like six bucks, you know, you know, a, a decade or a couple decades ago? And now one is almost $30. So getting them now and putting them away is better than not to be able to source them and or to pay two or three times more than what you're paying for them today. Now, some of you may be asking, why are you putting a small tub of Vaseline in the box that you're going to keep these in? Well, ladies and gentlemen, when I was at the auto parts store, the gentleman that was helping me, very nice gentleman, by the way, I was in the auto parts store here in Fairbanks. It was in AutoZone. And uh, I said, hey, do you have any dielectric cream? You know, and uh, dielectric cream is used for electrical connections to make sure that the connections don't erode because of uh, water or because of moisture in the air, because of the humidity in the air. And he said, why pay all that money for dielectric cream when you can just use Vaseline? And I'm like, Vaseline will work? He says, pretty much what dielectric cream is, is pretty much just a petroleum-based uh, product that keeps water or humidity away from the connections. And Vaseline will do the exact same thing. 
So if you're going to do something similar to this, keep a small tub of Vaseline with you. Do your own research, right? Because I don't want to be uh, responsible for telling you to do this and then something with your car warranty where it doesn't allow that. My vehicles are all at least a decade or older. So I have no problem with using Vaseline to put on an electrical connection. But go ahead and put yourself away a little bit of Vaseline in a box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this in a box after I use the ones that I need to use. I'm going to put all of these in a box. I'm going to go ahead and put the screw bits that I need, that I require in order to be able to change out every light bulb in my vehicles because they all have different screws and different attachments that you have to be able to take off and then put back on. I want to put those bits in there or put a kit in there to make sure that I always have the bits that are required in order to change out every light bulb in my vehicles in that box as well. And then I'm just going to label it light bulbs for vehicles or whatever you want to label it. And then just put it in a corner and don't forget where it is for when you need it. Because as soon as you forget where it is, that's when you're going to need it. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure that some of you may ask, AP, why don't you just get LED headlamps for your vehicles or LED light bulbs? I may get LED light bulbs here in the, in the future, see how they work. However, I'm reluctant to get LED headlamps because I just don't like the white color of LED lights. Uh, I've seen them before when they're coming down the road and, and they have such a white color that I think that the contrast of that white light coming from the LED bulb, especially with a headlight or a high beam hitting against the snow, I just don't like that. And in addition to that, the gentleman that was helping me at AutoZone today, he actually has LED headlights on his vehicle and he showed them to me and I was like, yeah, I just don't like that real white color. I really like the soft yellow color that uh, the light bulbs that I use now have. I really like that color. To me, it's a nice soft color and it's not distracting. Now, I probably will try some LED uh, light bulbs for the headlamps on my plow because I only use those headlamps whenever I'm plowing and I usually don't use my truck during the nighttime, my, my plow truck. I use, usually don't use it during the nighttime whenever I'm not plowing. Usually whenever I go get water during the winter, it's when there is a little bit of light out. So even during our darkest times of the year, we still have about two and a half, sometimes about three hours of daylight. Uh, if you can call, if you want to call it daylight, it's pretty much just like dusk. So for those of you that were going to ask about LED, I'm going to go ahead and order a set for, for my plow. But that's probably where I'll stop right there. If I put them on my plow and it looks great, then maybe I'll go ahead and order a set for each of my vehicles and use those and then keep the ones that I just showed you in reserves. All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen, short video today. I just thought I'd share this with you because I think this is a great prep to have. Not only because you may need it and it may not be available when you do need it, but because I believe that prices on things like this, especially those that are made outside of our borders, are going to continue to rise along with inflation. Having said that, I hope that you have a great day today. Have a good weekend as well. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. Merry Christmas. I'm Alaska Prepper. I am out. Ladies and gentlemen, Nutrient Survival currently has this awesome little bundle on sale all the way through the end of December. This bundle includes five singles each of the Southwest Medley, Homestyle Scramble, Maple Almond Crunch, Hearty Cinnamon Oatmeal, Vitamin Eggs, and the nutrient-rich vitamin coffee that you always hear me talk about. And as you can see here, it also includes this Retro 10 bread box. And the price on this kit, ladies and gentlemen, after you use the AP10 code at checkout, is only about $141. So if you're looking to pick up some singles for yourselves, that way you don't have to open a number 10 can and you can store those for long term, or if you're going to give some as Christmas gifts, or even as stocking stuffers. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, this, in my opinion, is the very best long-term survival food storage there is. There's nothing out there with more nutrients that actually feed your body what it needs. So feed your freedom with Nutrient Survival.